Will, to be completely fair, I'm a lot better at my job than you are at yours. You don't have to think about it. <laughs> um, we, we work in the same place, and uh, the job, I, I, like, I think I might be getting a promotion or something, so I'm gonna be a bunch of people's boss. And that's not like a good thing, because anytime someone gives me like a little bit of power, I really just like fucking run with it <laughs> as far as I can. They're gonna make me the boss of people in a kitchen, and uh, I've watched Ramsey, so I know how this shit goes. <laughs> Uh, I, as soon as we get in, the kitchen's gonna be dirty and be like, William, get back there, scrub it down with a fucking toothbrush. And he's gonna be like, well, we have scrubby pads for the toothbrush, motherfucker, get in there! It's gonna be real fun. As soon as he bad talks me, on the floor, don't ask why, on the floor, face down. No, I'm not gonna fuck you, I'm just gonna yell at you some more. Let's go. I would be an awful cop. <laughs> or in the current climate, I would be an amazing cop. It's cool, too soon. No, it's not. It's just the right time for it, too soon. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I don't think poverty should be a badge of honor for anybody. Like, if I were to walk up to you and be like, I've been living off rice and beans for the past month, you shouldn't reply to me with like, Oh yeah, I've been living off beanie, beanie weenie for the last two. Like, you're happy about it? That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm not happy to see your ribs and you shouldn't be either. You should see a doctor. <laughs> Because you need to be like fed properly like a duck who hasn't done it in a while. <laughs> Not like a foie gras duck, a sick duck. You know, sorry, I didn't know if the kitchen thing was gonna overlap. <laughs> I'm against animal cruelty, except when it's delicious. <laughs> I should really be recording this, this is going real well. <laughs> you have this, William? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was at work the other day, and a guy said these words. He said, yeah, I used to watch a lot of baseball, but then it got really weird in the 80s. But it used to be an American pastime. Nothing else. That was it. Uh, I don't think that guy has ever watched baseball in his entire life, because people who watch baseball can describe what a whip is and the formula for it and calculate it out for you for every player you've ever wanted to hear about. Uh, and this guy sounds like he just watched the trailers to a Ken Burns documentary. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he was going to describe the Civil War to you, he would be like, Yeah, brothers were fighting, and uh, this dude with the beard, and it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he was going to describe jazz to you, he'd be like, These are black people, but not anymore. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end on that. Thanks everybody. <laughs>